Welcome back. Hi, my name is Faisal Khan, Cisco Collaboration Instructor at voicebootcamp.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a menu-driven application with various options for audio, either uh, playing a static audio file or playing a TTS server. Now, menu, uh, the, in Call Studio Script, there are up to 10 different menu options you have, starting from uh, option 2 to 10. And you can also have a menu called Yes or No. So as you can uh, as you can see from here here you have a start of a script with you know normal CVP uh, dialog return. Then I'm creating a menu. Right now in this I'm creating a two option menu. One option that goes to sales if you press one. One that will go to support if you press two. And when the call goes there, it can either play an audio file or take certain actions. If user failed to take any any input or some uh, maybe they enter uh, menu three what is going to do is going to go to flag and then repeat that options all right so let's go ahead and show you how to build such applications so here we are going to drag and drop two option menu and let's call this company ivr now obviously when menu uh, options is being is going to be uh, invoked you need to play an audio file explaining what the user is going to do now under the settings you have options here right here you have to specify what what actions do you want to take so dtmf option one will be if the user press one or if they say sales for example the value could be one or you can say sales okay if I go to option two, it's going to be support. And the value is going to be support. Okay. So right now, under the audio, you can specify what welcome greeting do you want them to play. Now, it could be an IVR. So let's say I'm going to, I'm going to start with company IVR. I, company menu IVR dot web. Or you can say, press one for or press one or say sales to reach sales rep to reach sales as uh, simple as that or press two or say to uh, support to reach support team okay so that's just an a, a, a static uh, uh, ivr uh, sorry uh, text to speech in this scenario 